Howdy Beast Nation, Dirk Driggers here once again talking about Outward Mindset, the Beast Mentality. I want to shift gears a little bit from some of the previous talks and share some thoughts about interacting with folks with an outward mindset. You know, as leaders, as practitioners, we're rightly focused on results, performance. Well, and as I mentioned in the very first of these videos, performance is fundamentally based on mindset. And if the mindset doesn't change, then often we have to exert a considerable amount of energy trying to change behaviors to get the performance that we want. Another approach is to consider how we interact with folks from an outward mindset and in a way that maybe invites their mindset change. You know, in some cases, as you're working with subordinates or you're working with someone with whom you need to get a change, you may need to teach and communicate. Explaining the situation and why certain behavior is desired can go a long way to getting buy-in. In some cases, you may need to listen and learn. Perhaps there's something that's inhibiting the other person from doing what it is that you're trying to get done. And you're never gonna know unless you get outward and you listen. And yet other cases, trust is the critical requirement. Don't ever underestimate how important relationship building is, how critical it is to build and sustain trust and invest in that trust from the very beginning. And not only that, that relationship building helps us learn a bit more about each other. You know, when folks have a relationship, they're far more forgiving of each other's mistakes and foibles. And we all seek mission and success. And our collective behaviors are key to that success. And when we need to shift or change those behaviors to get the improvements we need for greater success, we need to be delivered, deliberate about how we influence that change. Do we force it and have to continue to exert leadership energy over time? Or do we teach and communicate, listen and learn, or start at the outset by forging relationships so that we can all exert energy in getting after that change that we want? Now, some are gonna say that we don't have time to do all this. And when we say go do something, our subordinates should better go do it. And yeah, there's a time and a place for that. How much better though is it to invest in your people in ways that grow them, help them understand the mission, and make them comfortable voicing the things that keep them from success and developing that mutual trust that enables mission command. And that way we're all getting after the mission, getting after the improvements that we're all seeking together. Till next time, Beast Nation. Thanks, General Driggers out.